Uh, my name's Gary Brayfield. I'm from Springfield, Missouri. Some of the issues that I faced in my life that caused me to go down a path of addiction were um, definitely depression. Um, well, first of all, just not knowing who I really am, my true identity, and 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 um, and uh, my purpose. Um, I've suffered with uh, uh, suffered with alcoholism uh, for over 25 years, and a lot of it began socially um, and, and grew to 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 depths that I never never dreamed, uh, never never thought was possible. Um, got out of control real quick. So that was the big things. Was um, just uh, uh, like I said, it, it it began socially, but grew into so much more. Uh, uh, just needing. Um, something to fill a void that uh, I now know um, was, was um, a relationship with my creator. Well, what made me ready to change and come to Heartland is, is um, God had been calling me um, to a relationship with him for really uh, all my life. But I mean, it, I look back and I see um, very, um, vividly, I see times where he was calling me to him uh, and drawing me near, and and I would, I would push him away, and he, and God finally got me to a place uh, of brokenness and desperation. He he, I, I had, um, I, I had, essentially uh, through my addiction, and and, um, and and my just living in the world and in sin, I I'd, I'd ran off anybody that had ever cared about me. Um, I was uh, broken, I was hopeless, I was homeless and alone, um, and uh, uh, I, thank, I thank him every day for bringing me to a point of, a point of no return, and, 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 I, and, and uh, it drew me near to him, and, and that's, that's when, uh, uh, um, through that homelessness and that, that uh, brokenness, I was able to um, uh, reconnect with a, a childhood friend of mine, and and uh, he told me about this this place that he was he was actually struggling with addiction himself and was trying to get back to, um, and, and and there was many many nights where I uh, <laughs> I'd look for a place like Heartland and and and, and never found it, and and the, it comes back to the, to I had to be in um, that broken desperate state that God needed me to be and to, to come back to him and to uh, to draw me near to him and and uh, have a relationship with him, uh, one that I have today with him that I, I never thought was possible. Um, I, I, I've been told about many times through Sunday schools and different uh, churches that I went to over the years and, and just didn't understand. I never had an understanding of, of one, what true love was. Um, and um, what a true relationship was. Um, and I, thankfully today I have one with Jesus Christ. And The biggest difference in my life in this past year is, is um, uh, through my, my relationship with Jesus Christ and what I've been able to learn about um, the love that He has for me and being able to, well, one, um, get to a point where I could surrender everything to Him, uh, and He can bring me true peace for the first time in my life. I no longer suffer from um, uh, the depression or the uh, or a lot of the insecurities and things that um, I struggled with uh, throughout my life. I'm slowly restoring relationships in my life, uh, and uh, and I just I look forward to you know. God doing, you know, continuing that work that He's doing in me. Uh, but those are the, the, the big changes. I, uh, through drawing near to Him, I, 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 today I have an understanding what real love and real true relationship is. I don't understand uh, exactly why it took so long to get to this point, but I'm thankful I'm here today. Well, today my future and my life um, and relationships are, are they look totally different than they did a year ago. Um, a year ago, um, as I was stating earlier, like um, 
I will one, I didn't know what a, a real relationship looked like, um, um, whether it be with my children or, or my parents or friends or other family. Um, and today I, I, I value relationship and, and, and uh, cherish the relationships that I'm, I'm growing today. Um, and I look forward to experiencing Jesus Christ with others today um, where um, I couldn't even understand a relationship with Jesus Christ before. Um, so th those are the big differences is, is moving forward. Um, uh, I'm excited about what the future holds and what God is going to do in my life and how he's going to use me to share the love of Jesus Christ with others. To encourage other people that uh, may be watching this video, I just uh, I just ask uh, ask them to to um, if they are at a point where they uh, things constantly or uh, there's constant chaos in their life, um, uh, they're struggling with addiction, or or uh, it doesn't have to be addiction; it could be any number of sin that the world provides. Um, that there there's a way, there's an answer, and. Uh, your Father in Heaven is calling out to you and He wants to have a real relationship with you. I, I ask that you just give uh, God a chance and, and, and He will give you the peace that you've always dreamed about but never been able to have.